channel, I'm Doris, and I'm here to share with you about my stock account update. Today, my stock account has made an earning of 273 US dollars. US stocks closed slightly higher on Friday. Germany closed what closely watched European banks, three European bank stocks, bear the lead in full recession trading. In my account today, so today, I've gained a total PL of 0.37%. Right now, the net asset of my account is $73,423.59. Today, I've sold all of my SQQ's shares. Right now, I have zero holdings of my, of my SQQ and the DRV currently. I sold this SQQ because the interest rate yield, the treasury U.S. government treasury interest rate yield has decreased recently, which is a benefit to the Nasdaq tech stocks, which means that the fear for the tech Nasdaq, which is SQQ, will have a less profit. Dow Jones Industrial Average showed a gain of 0.41% to 32,227.53 dollars. Nostal Composite made a gain of 0.31% to 11,823.96, and the S&P 500 made a gain of 0.56% to 6,930.79 dollars. The industry is closed to mix today, with the semiconductors decrease the most of a negative 2.76% decrease. On the other hand, the utilities, Regional Electric, rose for 3.08%. The European and American banks' crisis remains the focus of the market. Investors fear the Deutsche Bank will be the last victim of the credit suisse crash. The German Chancellor and the Governor of the European Central Bank try to ease market concerns about the German bank. Deutsche Bank's U.S. listed shares closed down 3% after falling more than 8% at one point. The German bank saw a sharp rise in credit default swaps, raising concerns about the health of the European banking sector. The banking crisis has hit Euro global financial markets, forcing questions about the health of the financial system to reassure the, their government and uh, complicating the battle of, for central banks to fight against inflation. German Chancellor Wolfgang Scholz said Friday that the Deutsche Bank was a lucrative to worry about. After Scholz's speech, European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde also tried to ease the market concerns about the Deutsche Bank. She said banks in the Eurozone are resilient, with strong capital and liquidity positions. Ms. Lagarde also said that ECB would provide liquidity support if necessary. In addition, Deutsche Bank said on Friday that it will redeem $1.5 billion of fixed interest a fixed interest fixed reset rate tier 2 capital notes to 20, 2028 on May 24, 2023 at 100% of the principal amount and accrued interest through but excluding the date of redemption. The plan has reviewed all necessary regulatory approvals and a formal notice of redemption will be delivered under the contractual terms of the note. On Thursday, S&P 500 data shows the Deutsche Bank credit default swaps CDS surged to 30, 173 basis points from 142 basis points the previous day. It was the biggest one-day gain for the Deutsche Bank CDS since the record began in 2019. According to market agencies, at the, at the time, German regulator, regulators revised the debt framework to re introduce senior notes. While Europe's leading banks are not as vulnerable as U.S. regional banks, investors were particularly nervous about issues like funding costs in the wake of the Credit Suisse crash. Founder Larry McDonald of Fairtrap Report Research said on Friday, the collapse of Silicon Valley banks has drawn more attention to the banks. As a result, banks like Credit Suisse and Deutsche Bank, which has been being very poorly managed for decades, were talking about very poor management and decisions suddenly caught the attention of investors around the world overnight. Investors said Michael Bell, global market strategist at JP Morgan, are trying to determine what the extent concerns about banking system will lead to further tightening of credit. That will determine the outlook of the stock market as the risk of recession in both U.S. and Europe is rising. And based on the history, the downturn is not good news for markets. However, he also saw that central banks and regulators are, were likely to continue to respond to the pressure on the banking sector. 
Investors are also watching regional banks perform closely. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said that regulators were prepared to do if more if necessary to stabilize the U.S. banking system. Ms. Yellen told the U.S. House of Representatives on Thursday, "We have used important tools to act quickly to prevent things from spreading. These are all tools that we can use again. The strong measures we have taken ensures ensures the safety of American deposits. Of course, we'll be prepared for to do more if necessary." Ms. Yellen's comment followed the collapse of Silicon Valley banks and the signature banks in the United States. The looping banking crisis has put U.S. regulators, regulators, repeated attempts to boost confidence in the U.S. banking system. J.P. Morgan analyst Nicholas estimates that the most vulnerable banks may have lost about one trillion dollars of deposits since last year, half of them after the collapse of SVB in March. Analysts noted that the $17 trillion in U.S. bank deposit, nearly $7 trillion, is not insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Invest- investors have been reviewing the latest policy moves the Fed announced this, w- this week. The Fed announced a 25 basis point rate hike on Wednesday, while suggesting its activity could sh- could open s- could end soon. Meanwhile, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell noted that the banking crisis has heightened the credit concerns for households and businesses in the U.S., which could put pressure on the economy. Bank Tom Haley, national investment strategist at UB, said. The main driver of the market volatility is a tug of war between investors assessing price stability and financial stability. The Fed has responsibility to curb inflation while limiting further pressure on capital market activity due to continued rate hikes. On on Friday's economic data, the U.S. market manufacturing PMI recorded 49.3 in March, the highest since October 2022. The preliminary PMI in services recorded 53.8, 53.8, the highest since April 2022. Eurobank stocks bear the lead in, fo- in full recession trading. The bank-led U- stock market slump in Europe is sending a signal that markets are not rushing to start recession-themed trading. Financial stocks were hard in a looming turbulent week. Counts Con- fear that more American and European banks could struggle as interest rates rise. Investors adjusted their portfolio in response to the risk of a hard landing in the European economy, spreading the sale from bank stocks to other sectors. This is the recession positioning in bank in stocks entering the next stage. When the risk of a recession occurs, the banks often bear the brunt because they their have credit flows across the economy. The recent turmoil has once again raised the chance of a falling recession in Europe, and markets earlier this year were betting that this could not happen. It'll have to happen sooner or later. Higher interest rates will hurt the economy, and we are seeing early signs of the financial sector, said Alfonso Benito, chief investment officer of Dunas Capital. Banks may start to reduce their lending business, which will translate into activity for the company. That could be the start of the recession. Besides banks, other growth-sensitive sectors also fell Friday, which the economy, model, automotive, and mining sectors performed the worst. Commercial property sector also fell. Instead, the investors poured in sectors seen as more resilient of the, to the recession, such as food, medicine, and telecommunications stocks. Comdirect bank strategist Andrea Lipko said, The cyclical sector is on the downward spiral as it is most closely related to the banking sector and may be affected by the second and third rounds. Finally, there are signs that the fund manager are avoiding companies with high leverage and volatile stocks. Meanwhile, they're pulling out shares that highly watch dividends and buybacks. It is clear that investors expect companies to crash in the future rather than handing out cash to shareholders. That's all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you next episode.